Yeah, g'day YouTubers. Tinker O'Toole again here with a, another video. Today I'm going to throw the spanner in the works. I've got a profile that as far as I know, uh, I don't know if anyone else has ever tried it, but it came into my head a while back there. Now, if I haven't done any time-based uh, tests on it, but someone was actually asking me, have I ever tried hexagonal uh, type grind on a semi-chisel? And the answer was yes, I did try it, but I haven't published anything or uploaded a video on it because I hadn't done any time-based, uh, which will be coming soon. So the initial thoughts is roughly about 5% faster. Uh, it seems to stay sharper longer. As you should know, semi-chisel definitely lasts longer than full chisel. It's something you can try. Uh, it works a little bit better than standard semi-chisel, that's all I can say. And there's the wheel, and as you can see, as it comes down, that's the hexagonal type grind. Spacing is 120 degrees. You can change that. So that's what the hexa profile looks like, and this is what the semi-chisel looks like. Now what we'll do is grind that and you'll be able to see the transition between one and the other. I will do that. You start to see it bite in on the angle now. Uh, that is, that's that tooth. We'll see if we can get another real close up view. So that's what it looks like. 60 degrees uh, in, 60 degrees going down. So really does. Now the, pers the, quest the person that was asking me the question was asking, did I think that if they do a hexagonal grind on a harvester type chain, would it help? And the answer is I... I just said, yeah, look, it definitely works a little bit better. Uh, it's not as good as Hexa, but hey, if you can improve a few percent, a few percent's a few percent, it's better than going back the other way, saying that, oh, this chain is way, way too slow. This is a little bit faster. So it'd be interesting to see if people adopt this type style in the future and just see what it happens. The other thing is, and you don't see much of it also, you can get a, so if this is semi-chisel, you can get chamfer chisel, uh, which is rather than a radius, or rather than have a curve on it, it, it has a, uh, well, I guess it's a bit like a hexagonal uh, type angle on it, so it's got a chamfer on it, so it didn't seem to take off, so definitely from semi-chisel, worked fantastic when it was first invented uh, full chisel really worked well and hexagonal type style uh, from Husqvarna worked fantastic until still brought the X cut out maybe after people see this video or maybe if a lot of other people try it uh, maybe someday some people may do a little bit of a hexagonal on a uh, semi chisel now the settings are 30 degrees on the 30 degrees uh, top plate so I'm still keeping the 30 degrees angle and just to give you a bit of a, a look at it now that's your 30 degrees there oh sorry there we are there's your 30 degrees on top let's see if we can do a bit of a close-up uh, definitely a nice little hexagonal on that let me tell you, that definitely cuts better. No question about that. That's a nice grind. Look at that. So, YouTubers, there's another one for you. Let's see what happens in the next couple of years or what happens whether this goes anywhere. Definitely works better. I'm not putting any claims on it, except to say that it probably works around 5%. 
But when I'm going to do a big chain shootout soon uh, between hexa, full chisel, semi chisel, and I'll include this one as well. And we'll all cut off the same log and we'll have about six or seven different type chains. And we'll all see how they perform. So, yep. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.